Hi, I'm Adam from DudinaDrama.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a cool blood splatter text effect with no third party presets whatsoever. Now to start this tutorial you will need two things. First you will need to download the Photoshop blood splatter brush pack from my good friend Sketch over at graphicsgirl.co.uk Now I'll put the exact link over in the description and it'll be on my blog site so just check that out for the link. Um, I can verify that this is actually her blood. I was in the back of the car while she was bleeding and then hey this bloody tissue would make some great photoshop brushes and the photoshop blood splatter brush pack was born. Now the next thing that you're going to need after you've downloaded those brushes is to check out my video importing photoshop brushes into after effects which will show you how to turn those brushes from photoshop into after effects. In this project I just have four PNG files from the photoshop brushes and then for compositions containing those PNGs. I'm just going to import the next one just by double clicking in this area and then selecting blood 5 PNG and then I'm going to create a composition to put this blood splatter in. And I'm going to just match the dimensions make sure it's square pixel and click OK Then just drag that in and then go to effects, color correction, change color, just to change the color because if you notice it's imported it as white, which is you will see from my other tutorial why we do this. I'm going to change that and now it's red. And if that was a bit too fast for you, check out my tutorial. It's all I've gone into detail and I've explained what I'm doing. Now we're going to be adding the mask effect, which is To make a mask, go into layers when you've selected it. Go into layers, mask, new mask. Then you will see this yellow border around the image. Let shift click in the top left corner and you'll be able to drag the different points in. Create a smaller box sort of around the center or the origins of the blood splatter and this will make a more effective reveal effect when some of the blood splatters if you do it from the wrong end it'll look a bit silly now go to the drop down in the timeline by clicking these arrows until you find the mask effects and the mask expansion now just drop this down to make sure that it gets rid of all of the blood that splatter that you can see click the stopwatch over here to set a keyframe then just move a few frames across the timeline. Then we're going to move the mask expansion up until all of the blood splatter is revealed. Then you might want to play around with this bit till you just get the right spot. And we can just move this back and preview that. And just you can move this value by just clicking it and dragging it around until you're happy with. Of the, the, the duration. You don't want it to be too long that people can see that it's a masked effect, but you don't want it to be too short that it just appears on screen. When you've played around with that and you're happy, we can move on to the main timeline. Now, if we go click back on project to get to the project library window, let's put these into my blood folder. I've also I've done that masking effect with all of these compositions now, so they're all ready to go. And I'm going to click on the new composition button to create a main composition. Remember, as I stated in my other tutorial, to make sure your main timeline is also a square pixel timeline um, composition so that all the pixels will match up. And now I'm going to create a text box for my text which I want to appear with the blood splatter. Now that text is the same colour as the background so it's quite difficult to see. And you can I'm just going to play with it a bit to get in the right place. There we go. Now to actually start this we need the text to be the same colour as the background just so that we can line up our blood splatter effects. Now we're going to just simply drag and drop these into the main composition. Now as you can see with that one 
and can't see it. That is because we masked masked out the first frames of this the blow spider composition. So if we move on a few frames, it will appear like magic. Also, you'll notice down here that it has appeared above the text layer. We need to drag that down so that we can see the reveal of the text behind it. Now we're just going to do that with all of these. Just drag them into appropriate places. Until you sort of you're happy with what kind of effect you get. Now you can move these around any way you like. Just take a bit of time to position them how you want them. I'll do for now. Now we need to move these, as you can see in the timeline, these are the different blood splatter effects. We don't want them all to appear at once because that won't look as cool. So if we just move them all slightly on the timeline so they will reveal at different points in time. Now we can just drag that to the start of the position and then preview our text effect. And there you have it, that's some cool text effect, some blood splatter revealing text. Now I think that's a bit fast so I might just play around with these a bit more to get a different effect. You don't want them to be too slow though because it'll look really uninspiring. But yeah, just play around until you're happy with that and there you have a cool text effect. Now, to just round this off, because sort of having the text the same colour as the background is kind of a bit of a cheat method. There is another way that we can achieve this which is a bit more complete is to change the text into a mask. Now if you select the text layer down here in the timeline then just right click on that and click on create mask from text. This will create a mask layer and also it will turn off the text layer but it will create a mask layer from the text that you've created. Now it doesn't work the same way at the minute so you need to change the mode to um, silhouette alpha and this will have the same effect as having the text the same color as the background also a cool thing you can do with masking is if you change the mode to stencil alpha it will mean that the blood splatter will only appear within the mask which is another cool effect you can get just from changing the mode and that is the power of masking. I've been Adam from DudinoDrama.com and I've just shown you how to create a cool blood splatter effect for your text.